Hey everyone, me again. If you're new around here, my name's Alice and I make videos all about affordable beauty and fashion. And today, as you can see by the title, I have got probably the most ridiculous ASOS haul you have ever seen. Just for reference, I'm a size 18 so I can shop in the main collection and the plus size curvy collection as well. So I've got way too many clothes to try on for you today. I've got this big work conference thing coming up at the end of November and I think I kind of panicked. <laughs> I spent about £300 I think, but the only reason I'm not freaking out about that is because I know that I'm not keeping everything. There are going to be things that I will like and there are going to be things that I'll want to return because that's just what happens every time I do an ASOS order. It's a bit like going into the changing rooms in a shop, isn't it? You're never going to come out of it liking everything, are you? Well, that never happens to me anyway. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So when I placed my order, I was really trying to think about what I wanted to wear to the conference, and I thought it would be really cool to wear a black suit. So I actually ended up ordering two. So the first one I ordered, that was the only one that they had in my size. And there was actually another one that I saw that I thought I might like a little bit more, but it didn't have that in stock at the time. But then of course, when I ordered the other one that I didn't like as much, when that arrived, the other one came back in. So this is one of the two black suits that I'm going to try on and I'm definitely not going to keep both of them. One of them is going to go back. But the one I've got here, this is the cheaper one. This is the one that's available in the main collection. So I don't think this one goes up to plus sizes. Like the blazer definitely doesn't. That one only goes up to 18. So I don't even know if it's really going to fit me. So I'm going to try the suit on right now and see what I think. I'm also going to try on one of the white shirts that I got as well. So I actually ordered a couple of different styles of white shirt. Even though it's a really staple basic wardrobe item, I don't really have any white shirts. So I don't know what kind of style I like yet. So this is the first outfit I'm trying on. I've got the black ASOS suit here and I've also got a shirt as well. So the shirt is definitely going back. I really don't like the way that it fits. I'll try and just undo my blazer so that you can see. Because the buttons are so far apart, it is kind of gaping a bit around the boob. I also don't really like this bit of the shirt as well. Like it keeps kind of wanting to do that and be straight, if you see what I mean, instead of just lie like that, which I think is what it's supposed to do. So yeah, the shirt's definitely going back for sure. Oh, and my shoes are also from ASOS, by the way. Um, I'll link them in the description box below if they're still available. If they're not, then I'll just find something similar. The suit itself does feel a little bit, like it's not tight, but it definitely, doesn't allow very much flexibility. The trousers feel a bit tight, which is surprising. That's not usually like the area where I have to size up. Usually trousers are okay. I'm going to see how I feel about the other suit, but I might try this suit on with like a different top on underneath and see how I feel about it then. So I thought I'd try on the suit with a different shirt. This is one I got from my ASOS haul as well. This is actually a Danny Dyer collab within the style, which I think is pretty cool. I didn't even know that she had a collab coming out, to be honest. I just liked the shirt. But yeah, now with the different top on, I can kind of assess what I think of the blazer. I don't know if I like it enough to keep it yet. I'll have to compare it to the other one to know for sure. The shirt by Danny Dyer, by the way. Like, I really like the pattern on it. I just don't think the cut is very flattering on me. So I ordered this in a size 20. And it does feel a bit oversized. Like, you can see how much extra fabric there is. So yeah, I'm going to send this back. I don't know if I'll get it in the size down yet. It depends what I think of everything else that I've picked up and just how much I've ended up spending in this haul at the end. But yeah, I'm definitely going to return the size 20. So I've got another black suit to try on now. And this this is actually from the Curve range, so the sizes go up a little bit bigger. So I got the blazer in a 20 and I've got the trousers in an 18. And I also think that the blazer does look a lot more formal. This suit was a bit more expensive though, I think the blazer alone was about 50 quid, whereas the other one that I just tried on was 35. But yeah, obviously if it fits a lot better and I feel really confident wearing it, then it's worth the cost. But yeah, I'm just going to try it on and see what I think. So like I said, this was the more expensive of the two suits, but I can definitely feel the quality difference. Like both the jacket and the trousers feel really, really high quality. I'm also wearing yet another white shirt underneath. This is by ASOS Design, one of their own brand white shirts. It's a size 18 and it actually fits me, which is a pleasant surprise. I really, really like the trousers. They feel a really nice quality. They are like those ankle grazing kind of trousers, just not really into like ankle grazing anything. Whenever you're trying to buy something like jeans or trousers, so many of them are not full length these days and it really annoys me. 
because I live in England, it's cold here, like I want to cover my whole leg. So yeah, the trousers are really beautiful quality. I can kind of let the length go because I'd be wearing it with shoes like, like these basically. The blazer, it feels like absolutely amazing quality, but this is too big, isn't it? Like it's, it's really annoying because it's too big but it's a size 20 by the way, so it's too big everywhere except my boobs. So I can't just order a size 18 because then it wouldn't fit here. But I appreciate that most people are not built like me. <laughs> and that's why I have such a hard time finding things like suits in the first place. The blazer is definitely going to have to go back. I can't pay 53 quid and have it not be like a really amazing piece of clothing that I feel brilliant about myself in. Like, I can't go away thinking, mm, it's not quite right. Hey everyone, me again. This is Alice from the future. I've just been looking at both the suits and deciding which one I want to keep. And I've come to the decision that I'm not going to keep either of them. So yeah, that's a bummer, but I'm going to keep an eye out on ASOS and I'm going to keep looking at other high street stores as well. And maybe one day I will find a black suit that fits me absolutely perfectly, but not today, unfortunately. So I also ordered a jumpsuit as well. I don't know if this is going to suit me. Again, just because of my figure, I sometimes find things like this quite difficult to wear. But I thought this might be quite a nice alternative because it's got like the style and the structure of a suit, but it just, it's a little bit different. So yeah, I'm going to try this on as well and see what I think. So this is the jumpsuit. So this is really nice and it fits really well and it feels comfortable and everything. The only problem is it's just not as formal as I thought it was when I saw the picture. So like I thought it would be a little bit more structured, but it's not. It's actually a little bit more casual, which is completely fine. But just if I do keep this, I probably wouldn't wear it to the conference. It does feel very comfortable though. There's no like zip on it or anything, by the way. You literally can just climb in and out of this, which is very nice and does make it a bit easier to put on as well. I just don't know if it's right for the situation that I actually bought it for and if I don't wear it for that then I'm just trying to figure out when I would actually wear this. So yeah, I'm not sure about this one just yet but maybe in the description box I'll let you know if I decided to keep it or not. So I've got this pink shirt here from New Look. It's in the same kind of pink colour as another shirt that I have from Primark that I wear literally all the time. So I'm really excited to try this on. It's just in a slightly different cut, but I know that I really like this kind of pale pink dusky color. There's also a skirt as well. I really, really adore this color, but in the pictures it did look like it might be a little bit long for me. I'm five foot five, so I'm not petite by any standards, but I'm definitely not as tall as a model. I also thought that this was a little bit expensive for what it is. So this is 28 pounds. I don't know if I'm just a massive cheapskate, but that just seems like a lot for a mid-length skirt. So this is the top and the skirt. I don't know if I would necessarily wear them as an outfit like all the time. It's just that out of everything that I'm trying on, they went together the most, if you see what I mean. But individually, I actually quite like them. I think the shirt's really nice. I ordered a size 20, so it's kind of a bit more forgiving for me. But it's not so oversized that I look like I'm wearing a sack either. The skirt is quite nice. It's definitely crinkled a lot in the packaging, so don't let that kind of sway you. But I do really like it. And I thought it would feel a bit long, but because it's got four quite distinctive splits that go up to about, that go up to about here. I'm trying not to show you my legs because I haven't shaved my legs since like the beginning of September. But yeah, because it's got splits that go like quite high up, it doesn't feel like a long skirt. Like as I'm walking, it's going to be like flashing a lot of leg, which I quite like. Is it worth 28 pounds? Probably not if I'm being really honest. Am I going to keep it anyway? Yeah, probably. I like it. The shirt was about £16 and I feel like that's really good value for money. I like the detail here and I like the sleeves as well. I think the sleeves look really flattering. This is the part of my arms that I tend to get quite self-conscious about. So there's just a couple more things to try on now and I wanted to get some new jeans. So you might remember my last ASOS haul, I got some black jeggings. So I knew that I wanted to go back to ASOS and get some more of their jeans. So I got these in blue and this top was also also on sale so I think this was about nine pounds or so and it just looked like something that I would get a lot of wear out of this is from Vera Moda and it looked like something that was kind of smart casual which as you know I like to wear a lot of smart casual clothes so yeah I thought that I would try these on together and then there's another shirt that I got on sale after that as well the jeans are really comfortable just as I thought they would be really like ASOS jeans and their jeggings they fit really well I'm not so sure about the top so the top was half price I think I got this for yeah, it was £9 instead of £20. It's a size 18. It fits absolutely perfectly, but like it just feels a bit 
different to what I imagined. Like the material just feels a little bit thinner, a little bit cheaper. I was kind of looking at myself in the mirror wondering if you could like see my bra through the top, which is not what you expect with a black shirt. I do like the thingy majiggy here that you can like tighten there. That's really flattering for someone with my shape. I don't know if I would have paid 20 pounds for this, but for nine pounds, I'm perfectly happy with the quality. And then the final thing I want to try on is this shirt from Oasis. So I got this pretty much half price, which I'm quite chuffed about because I like Oasis. And I really like the look of the floral pattern as well. So yeah, let's see if it fits. Okay, so I'd probably wear these with black jeans instead of blue, but I do actually really like this shirt. I feel like it's very, very flattering on me. I love the pattern, I'm really into florals. The back of it kind of surprised me, so maybe I just didn't look at the pictures enough, but I didn't know that it did, like, this. I've never seen a shirt do that before, but because it's a little bit oversized, or did I just order the size up? I can't remember. But because there's a little bit more room, I don't feel like it's just gonna like be flapping open all the time, if you see what I mean. I feel like it's just gonna sway a bit when I'm walking, which is perfectly fine. Yeah, I really like this one. I think this is another thing that I can kind of wear more smart or more casual. If you've watched any of my haul videos before, you'll know that that's kind of what I'm into. And yeah, I'm just really happy with this. So I feel like this is a really good note to end the video on because I'm just really chuffed with this top. But that is everything from me today. Those are all the clothes that I got from ASOS. I really hope you've enjoyed this different style of video where I show you everything as I buy it and then let you know if I'm returning it or not. Usually I just show you everything that I've kept. So this is a slightly different process for me, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please validate my existence by subscribing to my channel. And I will see you guys at my next video. Bye!